has gone and in this background it is very important that global trade and industrialization needs a major boost sir i'm here needs a major boost sir in this regards what i would like to ask the honorable minister is that which are the specific industry and trade sector that you are focusing on to increase the global trade and how are you going to uh, strengthen the sme sector so that they also play a major role in boosting up uh, the global trade and most importantly sir how are you going to identify backward regions and what are you going to do to identify those backward regions say for instance regions like marathwada where you can identify those regions strengthen them and support them so that they too also can participate uh, in the global trade honorable speaker sir since the original question related to the high level advisory group i'll start with the fact that this was a group which was constituted of very high level experts dr surjit balla is an eminent economist our present foreign minister dr jay shankar several people from the legal field from industry associations small scale and medium scale representatives and they've come out with a series of suggestions and the important thing to note is that every nation has some competitive and comparative strengths that's the original michael porter theory that you cannot do everything yourself there are certain areas where you have strength as a nation you are competitive and you are able to reach out gem and jewelry is one sector there's another question further about it where india has competitive strength we've been able to do very well footwear is an area we've been able to do very well this handicrafts is another area small and medium enterprises micro and tiny units have done very well so government is continuously engaged in assessing in this report also several sectors have been specifically identified on which the report has given vertical suggestions textiles for example pharmaceuticals garments electronics is a thrust area which is providing jobs to a lot of people after honorable uh, uh, minister of it has given a thrust to domestic manufacturing of electronic products medical devices is going to be an area of the future because of ayushman bharat now that more and more people are getting uh, free medical care medical electronics we are going to make sure that medical devices and along with that medical electronics comes to india so obviously every nation determines which are the areas of strength we are focusing on those areas of strength government is continuously engaging with stakeholders with domestic industry understanding what are their pain points and while on the one hand we are ensuring that this nation cleans up all the old issues about bad loans in the banks when we clear up all the old problems all the accumulated problems we are also preparing the nation to work with regional value chains global value chains engage with the world on equal and reciprocal terms i can assure the members of the house to you sir the government is very conscious that india will have to expand its export basket the hlag has given very good suggestions for the country as a whole and for specific sectors how we can double our exports and the government is taking action on each one of those suggestions case in point being the income tax rates with the uh, committee had suggested should be brought down to 18% i am happy to share with you that the government has brought down the rate to 15% instead of 18% for new domestic manufacturing that is set up so government is very conscious and continuously working for a better future for our msme and domestic sectors manish sarash sir my my question to the honorable minister is how are you going to deal with the tough competition that is coming from china sir when our reform process started smaller far east countries say for instance thailand bangladesh vietnam they were nowhere in the race but even now we are facing a tough competition from these far east countries so what is it that the government is doing you said you have lowered down the uh, tax rates but now the, with the state of economy that we are passing through is the government considering further lowering of taxes or at least the industry wants to know are you spending on infrastructure as much as the government had promised thank you uh i one small point that was left out in his earlier thing was about marathwada i am happy to uh, share with the members of the house and through you sir that this government has given particular thrust to marathwada and i was amazed when i was uh, visiting marathwada in one of my visits i found that in 70 years after independence 
Maratwada had not received one single large central project, not one single in the whole region. And I was happy that I could participate with the Honorable, then Honorable Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis ji. And as the Honorable Member may be aware, now a large manufacturing unit is coming up in Lathur, in Maratwada, that the railways is setting up, which will help to meet the needs, growing needs of Maharashtra's infrastructure, the metro services, suburban services. Obviously, infrastructure is the backbone of any economy. There's that old saying where uh, the American president had said, did America make the highways or the highways made America? The sense of that statement was that on the back of infrastructure, not only do you boost the economy, but then you give a impetus to all other associated and related activities, logistics, cost comes down, you become more competitive. The country is uh, working towards making ourselves uh, more and more uh, competitive in the international region. I'm sure Vietnam, Indonesia will also do their work. We will have to do better than them. And we are deeply engaged in studying what is the uh, work that other countries are doing. Income tax was one move in that direction. Several other initiatives are being taken by the Honorable Finance Minister and all the other colleagues in government under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi. And I can assure you that India will stand tall when it comes to engaging with the rest of the world. And India will stand tall when we have to compete with any region of the world. China is gradually losing its competitive edge. India can gain a lot of manufacturing which moves out of China. We are focused on certain sectors which are look, looking to move out of China. Honorable Minister Ravi Shankarji himself has met with several companies from across the world who have talked to him about their plans to come to India and set up manufacturing in India. I am engaged with a number of companies across the world. Honorable Prime Minister met several companies in the United States and other parts of the world where he visits to encourage investment coming into India, which is why FDI flows have gone up by 50%.